The Nespresso Talents competition asks filmmakers to tell stories using a vertical aspect ratio, tall rather than wide, like the cinema screen has been turned on its side. This may not be so unfamiliar to anyone who's shot with a phone, or perhaps to portrait photographers, but most filmmakers are used to a screen which is wider than it's tall, encouraging landscapes and horizontal movement within the frame. Car chases, for example. So, in order to shoot moving images effectively in this format, we need to understand how aspect ratio influences the way we frame objects and the spatial relationship between objects within the frame. With the vertical aspect ratio, how do we fit two characters onto the screen? Perhaps have them lying down and film from above so that one head appears below the other? Or we only film individual characters and rely on editing to imply a shared geography? The vertical frame closes in from the sides. It makes horizontal movement more problematic and limits how objects can sit side by side. But, as Orson Welles famously declared, the enemy of art is the absence of limitations. The beauty of this competition is not only that it encourages, if not forces us to present the world in a new way, but because of this is an opportunity for the audience to experience the story differently. As an outsider peering in through a doorway, for instance, or perhaps what takes place beyond the edges of the frame, unseen or fleetingly glimpsed, takes on greater importance. If you're struggling for inspiration, why not look around at all the things which fit the vertical frame more readily? Human beings, faces, a door, a wine bottle, a kettle, a tree. Perhaps there's a story there. But if you're going to shoot vertically, you need to take care of the practicalities as well. If you mount your camera on the tripod as you usually would, you will have a regular 16 by 9 image. You could crop it horizontally, but this would cost you almost half of your vertical resolution, meaning your images would be a little softer than necessary. So, you either need a tripod that allows you to mount the camera in portrait mode, the heads-on photographic tripods will allow this, or you need an adapter or attachment of some kind. For this video, I've mounted my camera to the outside of a camera cage. Remember, any horizontal movement will very quickly move off the edge of the frame, so you'll need to practice following action. When it comes to post-production, it may well depend on your editing program's ability to set up custom aspect ratios. If it will, set up a vertical 1080 by 1920 workspace, then within the program rotate your clips to fit. The program I use doesn't have this capability, so I'll edit the picture sideways in a regular timeline. It's a little awkward, but manageable. Once I'm happy with the edit, I'll export the file to a compositing program, rotate it, and then export in the correct format. Good luck.